YouTube, what it is, man? This your boy Young, and I'm back with another freaking video, man. I think, I think Kenworth got me, man. I think MAC in Memphis, Tennessee got me. Y'all, I think they sell, they sold me a lemon. I really do. So let me tell you why I think they sold me a lemon. First and foremost, I appreciate you for stopping by. All I ask that you do is like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to your boy channel so you can see the journey of where I've been and where I'm going. And I'm going to tell you all about this truck situation. I'm going to tell you all about this truck situation, man. Listen, man. If you go all the way to the bottom of my videos, it'll tell you why I got into trucking, etc., etc. The first company I was with, it's gonna tell you what what uh truck how I got my CDL, what trucking school I decided to go to, what first company I decided to uh go on to as an employee to drive for their company. It gonna tell you all that. So make sure you go down below, man, and watch those videos and catch up. But I think freaking MAC sold me a lemon, dog. Let me tell you something. When you go to look for a truck, make sure you get up under that truck, man. Make sure you're looking for oil leaks. Make sure you're looking for rust. Make sure you're looking for all kinds of wear and tear. Because one thing they will do is make that truck look good so you can get that truck and drive off that lot. Oh, man. God. Man, listen. Let me tell you something, man. Well, by the time I got my truck and got back to Georgia, so I flew to Memphis. Tennessee to pick up the truck I drove the truck back to Georgia don't you know by the time I got back to Georgia the check engine light was on so I immediately hit the sales rep like hey man check engine light on already like I right, nah come on I know when you buying a used truck you could be faced with all kinds of stuff. You can, anything can break at any given time. But, bro, come on. I'm riding on a truck. I get up to a certain speed. The truck starts shaking. I'm like, bro, come on. Like, what is this? And this is a, this is a rookie mistake now. So, I, I take some of the blame. This is a rookie mistake because I cut the deal before I actually lay hands on the truck. It was such a good deal to where... I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't pass it up, man. But it was a rookie mistake because I should have looked at that truck, crawled under that truck, took so, took someone with me that even know about trucks. Like you know, I know a little bit about trucks. I'm not I'm not saying I'm a diesel mechanic, but from this past experience, my next truck, I will. Be paying a whole lot more attention, man. I know certain things to look for now. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't regret getting the truck because I have been through some things with this truck to to to, to mold me to know the next time I go and get my truck brand new. <laughs> I'm talking about off the chain look good i want chrome and all, i want all that but it have mold me to know what i'm looking for the next go around so i get on here to tell my fellow truck truck drivers my fellow co-workers or whatever you want to call them or call y'all or call us we all family man make sure you do your homework on that truck because not only did I noticed that they paint over certain stuff, made it look real good. They did a good job of covering up a lot of stuff, man. And me just being so excited, like, 
man, I got my own truck. Like I, you know, I did it, man. I, it was a goal of mine. I did it. I, you know, I, I, I did what I said I was going to do. But man, like I said, from Memphis, Tennessee, by the time I drove back to Georgia, the check engine light was on. I immediately take, take, took it to a MAC here in the Metro Atlanta area, right? Just so I can have a home shop. I want a home shop and I can set up an account and everything. So whenever I need service done to the to the truck, I can take it to my home shop. So I immediately took it in to get an uh, inspection. Man, they came back with so much stuff. Dog. <laughs> oh, man. They came back with so much stuff, man. So I reached out to the MAC in Memphis, Tennessee and let them know everything that was going on. And I had the people there at uh, MAC Mableton in Atlanta, Georgia to reach out to them to let them know that, hey, this is what's going on. Uh, you just sold such and such a truck and this is what we have found. So somebody got it covered. You know, what y'all gonna do? So they fixed, they fixed, you know, the stuff that needed to be fixed in order to, you know, I guess satisfy the customer needs. Now I understand that you're not gonna fix everything because buying a used truck is buying a used truck, right? But man, I'm telling you, my first year, man, my first freaking year, bro. Breakdown after breakdown after freaking breakdown. Oh man. That uh from the coolant reservoir to a sensor to uh Man, it, it was just so much stuff, man. And I'm talking about the bills are so healthy at the dealership. I just thought they had a set bill for me. Because I'm telling you, every single time, it was five grand. And then it moved up to eight grand. And eight grand was every single time. Do you hear me, bro? Every time I went to the shop, something was wrong with the truck. It was about eight grand to get out. I ain't lying. I got receipts. Man, listen. I started paying close attention to the truck and seeing little things that they put together on the truck. And I'm just like, man, I'm glad I went through this. Because next time, I know what to look for. Not only that, I'm able to help somebody that's looking to get a truck that will watch this video and take what I'm saying in consideration. And when they go to them lots, what I'm saying is going to be in their head. Take your time, man. Don't be in a rush. Make sure it's the right truck for you. I don't care. Get up under that truck, man. Get up under that truck. Get up under that truck. Get the inspection sheet on that truck. I don't care what it is. If you've been with a company, do the research. Check and see how how uh, often they, they, they do PMs on their truck. All that, man. All that is important. But what I will say is, with my truck, man, I take pride in my truck. Yeah, I've been through it. I've been freaking through it. But I wouldn't change it for nothing. Because I'm fixing my truck I'm fixing it how I want it I'm taking my time I'm going through each and everything Replacing it man I ain't gonna give it up I'm not gonna give it up Because guess what I'm I'm, on, I'm darn uh, almost finished paying this thing off And I'm gonna get me something nice I'm gonna get me something nice Ah oh, man I know y'all are looking like, hey, man, didn't you just get the truck? But listen, I'm catching y'all up on my journey. So I should have started this YouTube two years ago when it all went down. But I'm posting videos to catch y'all up on my journey so y'all will see how this thing end up. We doing good. We doing fine. Every day we in the wind. 
We gonna make it happen, man. Don't give up. Be encouraged. Go get you a truck. But pay attention to detail. Pay attention to that truck, top to bottom. I don't care how long it take you, man. Get up under that truck. Get on top of the engine. Ask for oil samples. I don't care what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do in order to make sure that you will be successful when you buy that truck. Because once you leave off that lot, <laughs> they don't give a rat's, you know what, about what happens to that truck unless you get that aftermarket, aftermarket warranty. And it's full of crap. They want you to pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for what? But take a risk, man. Go get your truck. I hope this has been some encouragement to you. I hope um, I'm able to give you a little bit of motivation to go get that truck and, and not to give up. If you do have a truck and you having breakdowns, don't give up, man. You got it. Keep fighting. Keep working on that truck because that's the money maker. We got to do what we got to do. We're going to stand 10 toes down. We're going to stay in the wind. Until next time, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to your boy channel so you can follow this journey. Until next time, man. Yo!